In this video, I will be sharing with you guys five quick tips that will help you communicate with doctors. As a new grad, I know how scary it could be to call doctors, especially if you have to call them over the phone. So I'm gonna share with you guys my five quick tips for you guys. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. So first of all, I do wanna start off by saying that I remember when I started off as a new grad nurse, it was so scary to call the doctor. Just the thought of knowing that I had to call the doctor was scary, but it does get better. And with these tips, It'll help you ease more your anxiety for having to do that and for even to have to communicate with doctors. And then you'll actually realize with time that the doctors are also human beings. So just like you, you're a human being and so is a doctor. So it'll help you keep you more at ease. Although it could be a little intimidating with time, it will get better and you won't have that feeling of anxiety when you have to call the doctor because I've been there, you guys, and it does get better. So anyways, let's get into the first tip, and that is to take a deep breath and relax. Once you realize that you have to call the doctor to inform them of something about your patient, that's when the anxiety starts to kick in. So first thing is first, make sure to stop, take a deep breath, and relax, because you're gonna have to be calm and put together in order for you to be able to call them. So once you realize that you have to call the doctor, there's a few things that you should do before you actually call. The first thing that I advise you to do is to assess the patient first. So let's say that their hemoglobin is six. The lab calls you and tells you their hemoglobin is six. So before you actually call the doctor, go assess the patient, go do your whole head to toe assessment on the patient because they're probably gonna ask you some question about their physical assessment and you're gonna have to be able to answer that question. So assess them first. Secondly, review the rest of their labs and ask the patient. I would do this a lot. If the patient is actually able to communicate with you, then ask the patient how they're doing, if there's anything that they need. Just let them know, hey, I'm calling the doctor for X, Y, Z reason. Is there anything that you need or that I can do for you um, before I call them? Because you'd be surprised. You assess them afterwards and then you realize, oh my God, this patient needed this and that. And I should have just asked them while I was on the phone with them. Always ask the patient first if there's anything that they need. And once you review the chart, if you realize that what they need is already in the charts, then you don't have to ask the doctor. Plus, you want to give the impression that you're organized as a doctor and you're not calling them a million times during the day because you obviously don't want to get on their bad side. You just want to make sure that you're organized and that you keep in mind that the doctor is busy just because they're not there in the hospital doesn't mean that they're not busy with their own patients in their clinic. So keep that in mind. Their time is just as valuable as your time. So once I assess the patient and the chart and the labs and all that, and I talk to the patient, and this is what I would do as a new grad nurse. I would write down word by word everything that I would have to tell the doctor because I didn't want to freeze in the middle of the conversation with the doctor and not know what I was gonna say next. That was something that I always feared. So as a new grad nurse, I would literally write everything down, practice it in my head over and over and over. And if I were to forget, then I at least I have it written there and, I, and I'm able to tell the doctor everything instead of missing something and then having to call him again. Remember, like I said, their time is just as valuable as yours. So try to get all the orders that you need for the day during that time so that you're not having to call him or her back and forth you know that would be very annoying and just a waste of time honestly so yeah that's what i would do i would write everything down so write everything down as silly as that sounds it would help you ease your anxiety and help you calm down and at the same time you're not missing anything that you need to tell them. So once you've gathered all your information and you've written everything down, it is now time to call the doctor. So you're going to call him and all you have to really say is what you need to say. You get straight to the point. You do not fluff. You do not say, you know, they don't care. 
They don't care about all the fluff. So you're just going to say, good morning, Dr. Jones. This is Wendy. I'm calling from XYZ Hospital. I'm calling in regards to your patient, Mr. First Name and Last Name. And I'm just calling to let you know that their hemoglobin is six, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And of course, they're going to want a set of vital signs. So make sure you take their vital signs because they're of course going to ask you about their vital signs you guys that's another thing that i forgot to mention earlier make sure you do a set of vital signs recent vital signs not four hours ago and when you're calling the doctor or trying to communicate with them always remember sbar which is situation background assessment and recommendation if you remember those four things you will have a very successful communication with the doctor or with anybody really but in this case the doctor because that's what we're talking about and before you hang up just make sure that you write the orders that they gave you you recite the orders back to them so that they could give you the okay because sometimes you could hear wrong and it's not what they ordered so always remember to recite what they said to you thank them for their time and hang up and that is it so anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed my video make sure to like this video subscribe ring the bell for notifications and i'll see you on the next one